Christmas presents are exciting. Do you remember what you'd say is the best gift you've ever received at Christmas? I asked my kids this question, and here's what they said. My six-year-old loved her little talkie doll that could talk, blink, and not much else. It cost a whopping $110 after tax, and it lasted for a solid eight months before it found its way to the back of her closet. My nine-year-old said his favorite was the popular fantasy book series, six books in all, each getting progressively longer. The set cost $58 and lasted eight weeks before it lived its final dust-filled existence on a shelf. Now my tween loved the Brainy Putty collection that cost $32 and lasted a measly eight days before it went to live in our carpet. Finally, my teenage son wanted the ultimate drone with a 4K camera. It cost the most and lasted the shortest amount of time. I'd like to say it lasted eight minutes, but no, it was eight seconds, which is only impressive in bull riding. As exciting as those gifts are, what if there was a gift at Christmas that was far better? In fact, so much better that it makes these look like, well, toys. What if this gift was worth so much that no one could buy it for you, nor could you afford it? What if it was something of extreme value, like, say, life itself? And what if this gift was given through the birth of a baby who became our paid in full? That's the gift offered to all. It costs us nothing, him everything. It lasts just a bit longer than eight seconds, eight days, eight weeks, or even eight months. It lasts forever. Messiah is here. All you 
faithful, lift up your voices in praise. Let everyone everywhere know this good news of great joy. The Savior of the world is born. Come, let us worship Him. Come, let us adore Him. The Prince of Peace, the newborn King, Jesus Christ, the Lord. The sin-sick world needed saving, and though we tried and tried, we could not save ourselves. But God, in his infinite wisdom, provided a way, a way not mapped out by human hands, but divinely directed to change the course of history. Through his son, Jesus, salvation made its way from the thrones of heaven to the throes of humanity arriving not in splendor, but in simplicity as a baby. This was not entirely what was expected, but it's exactly what was needed.
box. Close. Um, the worst Christmas present I probably got was socks. Close. A pencil. A little small stuffed animal. I don't really think I got a bad Christmas gift ever. I think I've gotten everything I really wanted. Um, the worst Christmas present I've ever got is probably um, a blue robot because it runs out of battery like three days it's out of battery. You like forgiveness or? Uh, gold, silver, and clothes. Um, gold, silver, um, myrrh, gold, Frankenstein. Gold, boys and berries. God told her? Um, an angel. The spirits told her. I can poke a George. <laughs> King Arthur. Goliath. Henry. Joshua. Bethlehem.
stepped into creation with fire for all to see brought every tribe and nation to their knees arriving with the host of heaven in royal robe and crown the rulers of the earth all bowing down but you chose meekness over majesty Wrapped your power in humanity. Glory be to you alone, the King who reigns from a manger throne. My life, my praise, everything I own to Jesus, the King.
could have marched in all your glory into the heart of Rome, show them splendor like they never know. But you wrote a better story in humble Bethlehem, creator in the arms of common man. You will die for our redemption and you'll rise so we can live. Glory be to you alone, King who reigns from a manger throne. My life, my praise, everything I owe to Jesus, the King. To the cradle, from cradle to the cross, let heaven and nature sing, this is our King. But the grave couldn't hold Him, our God is overcome, let heaven and nature sing, this is our King. From heaven to the cradle, from cradle to the cross. Let heaven and nature sing, this is our King. Oh, but the grave couldn't hold Him, our God is overcome. Let heaven and nature sing, this is our King. All hail to the King, all hail to the King, all hail the King. tonight as we've come into this place, we hope that you've heard the story of the greatest gift that was ever given. The title of the program tonight was called The Gift of Christmas. And that gift at Christmas is more than just a gift that we receive under the tree. For those of you that know and have put your faith and your hope in Jesus Christ, you know who that greatest gift is. And it is the gift of our King, Jesus who came to save us. We, as men and women, are lost. We're lost because we're tainted with sin. There's nothing good inside of us, and yet our God, in all of his splendor and glory, decided to send his Son to leave the glories of heaven, to come to this earth, to take on flesh, to be one of us, and then pay an ultimate price to pay the penalty of the sin that we have. That is the greatest gift that has ever been given, and it's the greatest story that ever can be told. Tonight, we find ourselves talking this, during this season about hope, hope and peace, and we pray that, that there would be hope and peace in the world, and yet so much of our world, while they're offering a message of hope and peace, They're offering a hope that's going to fade. They're offering a peace that is going to pass away eventually. But Peter reminds us in the New Testament, he says that we have, as followers of Christ, a living hope. We have a hope that will never perish because the hope that we put our hope, the hope that we put our trust in 
is in Jesus Christ, who not only came to this earth as a baby, took on flesh, lived a perfect life, died on a cross to pay the penalty of our sin, but three days later, he rose from the dead. And because he rose from the dead, he offers us that life, that incredible life, that living hope that we've been singing about tonight. If you're here tonight, and you have never experienced the living hope that Jesus Christ offers, you can do that. You can do, and I'm going to pray here in just a minute. And as I'm praying, you can pray. And it's not, there's no, nothing magic about a prayer that you pray. But if you truly in your heart re- realize that you're a sinner and that the only way that you can have that living hope and a restored relationship with our Creator is through Jesus Christ, you can have that living hope and live eternally. And so tonight as we as we close out, we want to make sure that we don't give that we give everyone a chance to to accept that living hope. So would you guys bow your heads in prayer with me? And I'm gonna lead us in prayer. Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. The greatest gift that could ever be given. And Lord, our gift is to offer you our lives. Lord, I pray that today, tonight, if there is someone here who has not accepted that incredible gift that you have offered to us, that they would do that. And it's it's really simple. Just, Lord, I'm a sinner. I know that my sin has separated me from you. But God, in your love and in your mercy, you left heaven, came to this earth as a baby, lived a life, sinless life, And you died on a cross to pay the penalty of my sin. Lord, I accept that gift. And I want nothing more than to live a life worthy of the offering that you have given. Thank you for that gift, Lord Jesus. Thank you for that gift. We praise your name forever. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer and you uh, want to let somebody know, I'm going to be around after the program. I know Pastor Rusty is here as well. We'd love to know of that decision that you made tonight. Um, And we just want to rejoice with you that now you have not a hope that's going to fade after Christmas or a peace that's going to pass away after the new year, but you have a living hope in Jesus Christ. So as we close tonight, we want to acknowledge that our Savior, Jesus Christ, is reigning and will reign forever and ever. Let's worship him together. In the bleak midwinter All creation groans for a world.
child is born, the King of kings and Lord of lords, and he shall reign forevermore, forevermore. Here within a manger lies the one who made the starry skies, the baby born for sacrifice, Christ the Messiah. Our hopes into our fears, the Savior of the world appears, the promise of eternal years, Christ the Messiah, and He shall reign forevermore, forevermore. He shall reign forever. Our King reigns forever. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We hope this has been a wonderful addition to your holiday season. God bless you. Good night.